So today is still the same day. I had came home and I took a nap and I put the bonnet on. I have a silk scarf and I have a this is an extra large sleep bonnet and it's large because my hair has grown tremendously and the other silk scarf or silk bonnet that I have is small and when I put it on my hair it just rises to the top. Today is hair wash day as I said before but today I'm going to do something different. I have heard reviews about this product and I don't know why they call it a co-wash because it's um well it says a cleansing conditioner so I guess you can, I've never heard anybody being able to cleanse their hair with a conditioner. So I've heard rave reviews about this product and um, this is the first time I'm going to use it. And after that, I am going to put this in my hair. Um, whenever I wash my hair, it, it's, it's like soft. When it's wet, it's manageable. But when it's dry, it is like straw dry and it takes me um, about two to three days of putting products in my hair to get it back to it's well semi normal state I still have like I said earlier residue of my hibiscus mist and I have um, the curl souffle and the curl enhancer smoothie and it's like a sticky residue on my hair and the good thing about that is that if I could put my hands under water and rub it under it will reactivate this stuff but I am going to co-wash my hair today and um, I'm going to see how that work I, I, I gotta read the instructions so um, well, let's see. Here's hoping. I don't put too many products in my hair um, because a lot of them don't work. And I have a closet full of hair stuff that I just am so upset about that I've like wasted. So um, let's see how these two go. Can be that bad. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, real quick. I got this co-wash in my hair. I've had it in there for about like probably like 10 minutes. I just put it in my hair just to wash it. Well, I did what um, the direction suggested. Uh, put it in your hair and wash it like you would if you had a regular shampoo. And so I did that and a little goes a long way. I'll tell you that. Be careful about how much you put in here because I tell you, this stuff is like really... I put it, on, it was on my skin. My skin is pretty ashy right now because uh, like I said, cold weather and my skin does not agree. So I'm going to rinse this out of my hair and then I'm going to rinse this out of my hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the um, double butter cream on there and see how it turns out for tomorrow. Because I know tomorrow I'm going to end up doing a two strand twist because I always do it. It's easier and it makes my hair look more decent than when it does if I wear it down as y'all can see. So I'm going to rinse this stuff out, put the butter cream in there and see how it turns out. Now that my hair is washed, co-washed, or co-conditioned, I have put oops, this uh, double butter cream in my hair, and the phone rang, so I had to answer that, and I was putting this in my hair as I was talking on the phone, and now that my hair, the back of my hair is drying, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I don't want to plaster my hair with this stuff, because I don't think it says plaster it. Um, it says sparingly or liberally, depending upon your hair's need for moisture, manageability, and vitality. And uh, this is not manageable. It's not vital. I don't know what the word is, but um, I, I didn't want to put too much in there because I didn't want my hair to like completely feel dry, but it completely feels dry. So, um, and I know if I start to like really, really feel faddle with it, it's going to go back up to the, the fold that it always does. So, um, um... I'm not liking this double buttercream at all. Uh, it's, it's, it's leaving my hair dry. But then again, all products that I put on my hair after I wash it, it leaves it like straw dry. And I probably, it'll probably take me like two to three days to constantly keep putting that in my hair for my hair to get back to its the way it was before I washed it. So, um, co-wash, I don't know. Uh, my hair seemed like it dried up real bad after I used it. There was no softness. There was no manageability. As a matter of fact, I had like a big wad of hair um, when I tried to detangle it, but then again, that comes from not brushing my hair for 14 days, so, but the co-wash made my hair feel really dry, shriveled up, um, so, like I said, it takes me a minute to get used to these products because, uh, I'm, I don't know why, but I, I guess I'm expecting to, the first usage to be a great usage like some other stuff that I have, but in this case, this, this buttercream and this co-wash or co-condition, they, they should call it co-condition, is not what I thought it was, just like the Shea Moisture line. But, um, yeah, tomorrow it'll be a two-strand twist, and I don't have to show that because that's how I always put my hair. So, uh, first usage of this stuff, 
Mm, not not feeling it right now, but I have to use it because I spent money on it. It's expensive. I like somebody talked me into it, and now I gotta use it all up until it's done. And I better start liking it because I don't want it to go to waste. <laughs>